Hi guys, welcome back and hello if you are new. I hope all of you are having a fantastic week so far and have got a lovely weekend planned. So a little bit of a weird one for me this week. Um, I was walking around the Great Escape, which is a sort of festival in Brighton, where I stumbled upon Witch Fever. So I'd never heard of Witch Fever before. I saw them play at Volks and I was really, really quite surprised. And then they announced their album, Congregation, and they've had some incredible press coverage, and I just had to see what the fuss was all about, and I'm incredibly glad that I did. <clears throat> so join me this week as I look at Witch Fever's brand new album, Congregation. So Witch Fever are a Mancunian quartet that formed in 2017 and up until now have released an EP called Reincarnate. They're now unveiling their debut album, which is their first release by record label Music for Nations in the form of Congregation. The band play a combination of doom, punk and a hint of indie, but with some incredibly vital themes and lyrics to top it off. The themes of this record extend to control, abuse of power and patriarchal violence. But the main sort of thread, I would say, is Amy Walpole, who is the lead singer of this band's um, experience and sort of leaving of the church. The band want to change the incredibly tired narrative of men, and in particular old men, dictating what women should or shouldn't do, can or can't do, and quite rightly tell them to go fuck themselves, which I... So as a straight white man, I have to say, I can't imagine just how much this would permeate someone's life, you know, whether you're non-binary, trans, queer, um, you know, just even a woman, you know, like, wh whatever you identify as, I feel like people should just be able to live their lives unapologetically and in the most beautiful way possible. Overall, their sound ranges from the aggressive punk of At The Core and the accusatory snare to the kaleidoscopic, I guess, progressive ideas on Congregation and Slow Burn that plays in the same kind of chambers as Chelsea Wolfe would, for example. Congregation, though, is a great example of the band showing there is more to their sound than just snarling punk. And in total honesty, I think if it was just punk for 13 tracks, it would get a bit too linear, a bit too kind of predictable. But I liked the unpredictability of each track and the fact that it kind of ebbs and flows and lets sort of space speak for itself a little bit more. Amy Walpole's vocals flip from pained and emotional to defiant and strong, often with the flick of a switch. But the thing is, is you can tell that it's her character that you see pretty much throughout the album. And I like the fact that some of it is cloaked in metaphor, but others are very much direct. But I also love kind of the fact that there's that Mancunian accent that sort of peeks through sometimes, like on I Saw You Dancing. I saw you dancing. The lyrics are incredibly well thought out and create a direct line of communication to Walpole's trauma, but they're also, I think, quite relatable and there's going to be a lot of people who can kind of take a bit of solace in, in how they're put together. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're not aggressive and pissed off, though. I think it's sour where there's a section where she kind of has this fieriness of as if they ever fucking asked and it, or um, snares my body, my choice. And I like that. I like that sort of protesting that kind of like fuck you attitude to anyone, you know, who, who might be questioning anything that the band might be doing. It's got that sort of delivery of, you know, like a Johnny Rotten kind of that sort of, I don't know, the, the sort of anarchic idea of punk, basically. And there are times where the doom metal often takes a bit more of a centre stage. And we can see that on Blessed Be Thy, which kind of opens up the album and also the rather more moody Bloom. And 
I also really enjoy the fact that 12 ends the album on a very confrontational note. And I think it was meant to do that, you know, to make sure that you kind of take something away from what this band are actually talking about. But I think the beauty of Witch Fever is in its simplicity. There's always a melody or a lyric which will kind of catch your ear. And there's always something about each track which is memorable. What I find hugely exciting about Witch Fever though is just how quickly you can attach yourself to these songs. And I think a lot of that is to do with the guitar and the bass work. So Bloodlust and also Deadlights, I think, are two really good examples of that. And with Congregation, Witch Fever have put together a record which puts the spotlight on important themes using vital lyrics and incredible imagery. Couple this with excellent songwriting, fierce delivery and incredible earworm sense of melody and you've got success that matches their scale of ambition. Not one to miss out on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this album review. Let me know what you think in the comments underneath me. And of course, I'm a YouTuber, I have to say it. Please hit that like and subscribe button. It really, really helps. And let me know what you think of Witch Weaver. Take care and I'll see you guys very, very soon for another album review. Yeah!